Hey guys, welcome back to the Separation Anxiety Series featuring Aspen. That last video brought a lot of questions um, about her body language and she looks worried and she looks scared. Yep, she does. It has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with the tools. Um, this was her personality at the time that she came in. You have to remember she is anxious. She's in a new place new handler going in the crate something that signals to her that she may be left alone uh sometime soon uh so she, yeah she's stressed out and that's expected and normal uh your dog may show signs with that with you it may not until you leave it alone so keep all that in mind before you send me emails or send me messages about how stressed out the dog looks, um, that it's the e-collar and why you're using a shot collar and a prong collar, you'll see in subsequent videos. I don't need to reiterate this to the people who are watching and uh, you know are actually benefiting from this stuff. Because if you're here, chances are you've tried all the other easier routes, let's call them. This is not the easy route. Uh, it doesn't stick for a lot of people. This is not what they do on a daily basis. So you'll hear tons of things uh, repeated over and over again. So I was just addressing uh, that body language. Uh, I look forward to also showing you the go home videos. Those will be added in as well. You judge for yourself. All right, guys. So I'll be walking you through this uh, video about... Uh, what I'm doing around her, uh, I believe is day six or seven or something like that. Hang on. Good. So again, with the thresholds, uh, the previous episode had that in it. We're doing that again. So in in the previous episode, you kind of see how she wants to bust out um, of the kennel to get out. So that's decreased. And uh, going in the kennel, you don't want them to do either. Because what she starts doing eventually, right, as she's going through training and I'm adding more challenges to her, more challenges like, for example, place command and she's tied back and I'm walking out. She's like, you're making me do all this work and I don't want to do it. I now want to bust in my kennel. Um, and, and I do want that. I want the dog to be so mentally drained and mentally exhausted that she does want to go in the kennel. That's where I want her to be comfortable and be alone and be comfortable so but no busting in and no busting out no rush that is um anxiety showing up in the dog so when you see her panting uh she's anxiously and looking in the crate looking at you and going we want to slow that down you'll hear me repeating um as i have previously slow the dog down and slow yourself down as well at this point uh with being with it being day seven I am going to be a little bit firmer on that leash and you're not angry, you're not mad, it's just matter of fact. I need you to um, be calm as you go in and out of this crate and no anxious, uh, no anxious movements. Slow down and think about it. So that trains her to um, think about cycling when she's actually like, Oh, oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm by myself now. Let me start cycling into that space. So it's more than obedience. It's emotional. It's mindset. So that's where you start targeting that with your with the help of your tools, right? Aspen Smart. Carlos just left. So sometimes um, the leaving activities, I'm going to whisper. The leaving pretend I'm leaving activities uh, require like the whole family <laughs> so I got I got my dogs we went for a walk and Carlos took off when I got here oh here she is we're watching her on the monitor let me flip you over 
No, don't drink. It's left over from yesterday. Oh, that's clean water. We're watching her on the monitor. I don't like this one, you see, because you can't see it. And you see about the crate. She hasn't started her, um, her fiesta yet. And then this one dies, so that's why I like the nest. See if you can hear her whining or anything. Oh, there she is. So I'm going to set this down. And I'm going to start the e-collaring process. She's down. She's down again. I don't know if you can hear me all over the panting. But this is why I use my phone. I don't use this one. This is for videoing purposes. Missy, if you stop panting, I can hear. <laughs> uh, but we're in the trunk of my car. So she probably can't hear us. But it's going to take her a while to start doing her thing. So if you're watching the replay, it's much better because you can fast forward any good parts. Right now we're not going to get anything. It's going to be a while. So sometimes it requires the whole family to get involved in the um, process, get everybody out the house. And I'm typically on low numbers. Um, this long antenna is for getting good range outside through the house, the walls. Typically I'm on low numbers, tapping, pressing and holding, um, just depends. I'll switch it back on when something starts happening. We'll do that. So I don't waste my phone battery. Still nothing. We're still out here, so... Waiting on um, dinner. Carlos to bring back dinner. We all work as a family. <laughs> this takes up a lot of time, but nothing. It's been... When did I start the last one? Oh, it's been like half an hour. She's right there, lying down. So, maybe she's tired from the party from yesterday. I don't know. Not today. And now it's going to rain, so... We will wait until it starts or until Carlos gets back. Try again. I'll be out here still, and if she does something, I'll come right on. If not, uh, we shall try again tomorrow, maybe with Max. Um, yeah, that'll probably work. 
Bo upstairs and maybe head out with um, with Max. I thought I was hearing something going on. We're still out here. Um, almost an hour now. But it was her just Readjusting, she's readjusting her position. Nothing. So, been almost an hour. We'll call it here. Time for dinner.